No, Mother. I can't let you sign our future away. What future, Macy? Well, this may come as a surprise to you, Clark, but we can't survive without you. The doors aren't closed yet, Clark. Give it a week. They will be. That isn't true. <laughs> Darla, have you heard all those phone calls from the creditors and from the lawyers? Sally, how about those latest sales figures? Why don't you enlighten the troops? Give them the good news. Clark, we are not desperate enough to give you 51%. Any more desperate than the IRS would be padlocking the doors. Clark, you cannot barge it here like a, no, you won't. All right, that's enough. Clark's right. We are only a couple of days away from going under. Could happen any time, next week, tomorrow, even today. So that can't be. It is, darling. And I'm afraid we're all going to have to face it. The only question left is, under what circumstances do we want to go on? Look, I'm not on a power trip here. I want to make money, lots of money. I'm a capitalist. I'm not a slave driver. And I will make you and Macy so filthy rich, you, you wish that you would have done this years ago. And what are your alternatives? There is no alternative. You either get filthy rich with me at the helm, or you kiss 30 years of your life goodbye. And all the people that work here, Darla, Saul, all the people downstairs, or all the people in the cutting room, they're all out on the street. So I'm going to ask you one more time. You want to do what's smart? You want to do what's expedient and profitable? Or are you going to sail this ship to the bottom and drown everyone with it? All right. I'll sign. After I have my lawyer take a look at it. Have him look at it today. I'll be into work tomorrow. Uh, and Saul, um, get my office ready for me. I want it spit shine. Hey, cheer up, everybody. Still got your jobs. Karen. Hi. Um, I was just looking for Thorne. Is he around? I think he's at a meeting. Come on in. You must be really busy. Big show coming up. That sounds exciting. Should be our biggest ever. Great. Let's see. The last time I saw you was at Mother's pool party. Right. Yeah, you uh, were there with your wife. And you were there with Thorne. As I recall, you two look pretty friendly. Well, we are pretty friendly. So what's going on with that? Well, things are, um, very interesting. Macy, isn't Macy back from her trip yet? Yes, she is. Oh, is that what you mean by interesting? Yeah. Well, I don't envy you two. Any of you, that must be a very difficult situation. Well, it is, especially with all of us living together. What? Hasn't Thorne told you? Oh, we're all living together. Thorn and me and Macy. gonna let me in, little girl? Or do I have to get nasty? The Beautiful, 
This portion sponsored by Dawn Dishwashing Liquid. It takes grease out of your way. Just stop it! Get out! Can't do that, baby. What do you want? Let me in and I'll show you. No way! I'm not letting you in here! I like that. <laughs> a lot of fight. You and I are gonna have a pretty good time. Please, please just leave me alone. Here, take it. Just take the money. You're the slime ball that's been that's been threatening Zach's father. Don't be rude, huh? Look, he has the hundred thousand. Zach went to get it. My, we will say anything, won't we, huh? He doesn't have the money. I mean, I knew he couldn't get the money. That's why Zach brought you out here where he thought it would be safe. Today, my sweet, you're going to pay for all of your boyfriend's mistakes. Now, put down the knife. Put it down. Or I'll kill you right here. guy, he's uh, about 40 years old, uh, dark, slick back hair. Have you seen him around here? No. I mean, you're sure? How long have you been here? All day. Damn, what the hell is he? I know. I know. But what was I supposed to do? Clark Harrison was absolutely right. We wouldn't have survived another week. We're not blaming you, Mom. Well, honey, maybe I'm blaming myself. Sally, you did what you had to do. Extortion. That's what it is. Look, Mom, maybe your lawyers can come up with something. No, oh, no, honey. Honey, we got to stop grasping at straws. We need a holiday line. We need a cruise line. We need it right now. We cannot call ourselves a major house of couture without a head designer. Clark Garrison is our only hope. And unfortunately for us, he knows it. I'm sorry. We're just going to have to give in to his demands. And look, I know that it's going to be hell on all of you. If it's any consolation, it's going to be worse than hell for me. OK. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, just give me a few minutes, huh? I won't be alone. Let me know if you need anything, Mom. Macy and Thorne are living in the same apartment. Yes, his place. Oh, brother. Well, we all have separate bedrooms, of course. Oh, of course. Well, that makes all the difference right there, yeah. How did this come about? Well, you see, Thorne invited me to come live with him because he didn't think Macy was ever coming back. And then when I went home to get my suitcases and I came back, Macy opens the door and she's moved back in. And she's not about to move out again. No, and I'm not either. Thorne and I have become very close. How about him and Macy? Well, yeah, I guess they're close, too. What a guy. 
Oh, well, it's not like Thorne is liking this. No, no, I'll, I'll bet he's not. Come on in, Macy. Not Macy. Sally. Boy, you got some nerve showing up here like this. I know I was gone a little longer than I expected. I'm sorry. I, uh... Well, Jack, it was not the fact that you were gone a little more than expected that has got me upset. What has you so upset? It was Clark I saw leave just now, right? Oh, right, yeah, that was him. That was your new boss. Clark Garrison is just about to become the controlling partner in this company. So I suggest you watch your back, mister. I wouldn't suggest trying any of those shenanigans you tried on me, on him. Clark Garrison is a very tough customer. He is not about to be a patsy for your smooth talk and drivel like I was. Sally, what in the world are you talking about? Oh, don't play innocent with me, Jack. Spare me that, will you? Will you give me a break? You start to level with me right now, or I swear to God, I'm going to explode. I'm going to wreck this whole place. You start to level with me. You start to... T yes, what is it? Do you think this is funny? No, I, no, it's really not funny. You're laughing. <laughs> not really. Well, um, I guess if you're not a part of it, you might think it's funny. Well, I just think the three of you have to come to some sort of arrangement here. We have. Living together is not the answer. Well, I'm hoping that that's not going to go on much longer. You're moving out? Oh, no. I'm planning on driving Macy out. How? Oh, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Just like your sister. Well, I'm sure that Caroline would go after her man a little more graciously than I do. Hey, Caroline was no slouch. Did she have to fight for you? I had to fight for her as well. She won. I'd say we both won. Well, I hope I can say the same for Thorne and me. I'm gonna let you get back to work. <laughs> but you know what? First, I'd like to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, maybe it's not really fair. Go on, ask away. Who would you rather see your brother with? You're right. It's not a fair question. Conflict of interest, huh? Something like that. Well, do you think it would be OK if I came in here from time to time and cried on your shoulder when things got rough on the battlefront? I'll keep a dry handkerchief in the drawer. See ya. See ya. You okay? Yeah. I'm no, no, I'm not. Man, things sure are funny around here with the way you're acting. And then Rhonda. What about Rhonda? You didn't hear? Some guy attacked her on the beach last night. What? He really jams on her, knocked her out cold. What the hell is that? She knew Rhonda knew we were, we were a big bear. Guys got a hold of her, made her talk. You got rope? What do you want rope for? Look, either cooperate or die. Now, where's the rope? It's under the counter behind you.
your hands behind your back. Come on. Mm. No. My mistake. Take off your clothes first. No! You're not going anywhere, baby. It's just you. And me. Operator, are you sure? Oh God. Oh God. Sally, is that you? Yeah, who is this? It's Carl Sands from the bank. Is everything all right? No. Things are definitely not all right. What can I do for you? I'm uh, calling about the withdrawal that Jack Hamilton made yesterday. Yeah. What about it? Well, I know it caused you some concern, so I thought you'd want to know. Today, he came back into the bank and deposited the money. Really? Are you sure? Yes. Only it wasn't $20,000 he deposited. It was 25000 What? That's right. 5000 more than he withdrew. I see. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much for uh, keeping me informed. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Sally, do you mind if we get back to the conversation? I'd like to know exactly why you're so upset with me. Where have you been for the last two days, Jack? That's what it is, that I was gone just a little longer than I thought I'd be? Oh, sure. You left me here to deal with Clark Garrison all by myself. You know that drives me crazy. I mean, that's why I'm upset. I'm sorry. Sally, I am really sorry, but it was urgent. There was no way it could be helped. I'll make it up to you tonight. Tonight? Yeah, I owe you dinner. That won't be necessary, Jack. I wouldn't be doing it because it was a, a necessity. Then why are you doing it? Just because I'm gone for a couple of days, that doesn't change the way I feel about you. Doesn't it? No, why on earth would it? Why? You think about tonight. I'll be in my office. Give me a call. Who are you, Jack? What kind of a man are you? Can I trust you? Do I dare trust you? It was a storm. It was a windstorm. The power line's down, phone line's down. Don't lie to yourself. It's a storm of Big Bear. OK, um, why didn't she answer the phone then? She, um, in the shower, she... Zach, he didn't find her, he couldn't have found her. Come on! Nice. Real nice. What are you gonna do to me? Tie you up. No! Yes! <laughs> and if you give me any trouble, I'm gonna break your arms and legs and still tie you up! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. 
Just hang on, babe. Just hang on. 